All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. All right, double honors to the elders and apostles over there at JMS who are my teachers. All right, peace and salutations to you brothers out there preaching this word in truth and in sincerity. This is Brother Yahweh Sap with another quick hit, man. And basically, the title of this one is going to be Remember Thy Creator. All right, because we're coming into the times of mass judgment, man, and people are going to start dying um, at a very high rate, man. They're going to start being, uh, you're going to have more fighting within families and within friends man you're gonna have um babylon also known as america be completely destroyed man all right this place is about to be hit with one thermonuclear missiles and two with jacob's trouble all right with martial law with the civil war all these things are gonna come all right um and we're seeing that amp up more and more and more and the apostle tahar uh rightfully coined this year the um hopeful year because we're seeing we're seeing these things happen right before us. A one four four call lawyer help by Shimi Alshad. But pretty much, all right. As you can see, the title from this uh, article it says utilities are cutting power to millions of struggling Americans, and it just seems that this place is waxing worse and worse. And it's not even seeming that way. It is. It is happening. It's happening right before our eyes. This place is waxing worse and worse. More and more people are becoming homeless. More and more people are in debt. Okay, more and more people are are just going through hell, man. All right, the, because iniquity is abounding, love is waxing cold. Okay, and Esau knows he has a short time, and he's coming down with uh, upon you people having great wrath. You know, but those of us who trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and their word, you know, hey, we'll be straight in those days. Yahweh Rada Zai, we're part of that number. You know, so uh, it says utilities are cutting power to millions of struggling Americans. This is posted yesterday. It says a growing number of Americans are getting their power shut off as rising costs of living force consumers to choose between keeping the lights on and paying for food, rent and transportation. These people have no clue what to do. And ultimately it's because they don't have a guide. OK, matter of fact, real quick before before I start off with this, let's get that real quick. Because we have to trust in the Heavenly Father to be our guide, man. These people, they don't have a guide. They don't have no clue what's happening, man. They're just caught. They're going to be caught off guard. This is uh, about Salakia. I was thinking of something else. This is it's in the book of Second Ezra, chapter 17, 16 and verse. Uh, Khan, this is uh, Second Ezra, chapter 16. And I'm going to start at verse 74. It says here, O ye, my beloved, say to Yahweh. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. And we're seeing that right now. Millions of Americans are losing power. They're losing their home. They're struggling to pay for food, for rent. They're struggling to support their children if they have any. Shit, they're struggling to support themselves. All right. And this is all according to the Heavenly Father's purpose. It says for. So it says, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from the same. That's right. The same judgment that's going to come upon these people. The Heavenly Father is going to deliver us from. And so it says, verse 76, and the God, uh, verse 75, Salakia, be ye not afraid, neither doubt. That's right. Now is not the time to start doubting, to start wanting to fall back into the world. Man, fuck this world, bro. This world needs to perish. All these people who, who live to fulfill the lust of their flesh, they don't care about anybody else, man. They don't follow the laws, the commandments, the laws of life, but they're following after this, this man, Esau, the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite. This man, this devil needs to be taken down, man. All right, and we're seeing why you have you have uh, over here in America, all right, aka Babylon the Great, that great whore over here in America. You have uh, freshwater fish eating just one of them is equivalent to drinking a whole month worth worth of of uh, water filled with forever chemicals. All right, this this earth is polluted because of this man, and anyone who agrees with this man needs to die. They need to fuck these guys, man. You know. I'm going to read that again. 2nd Ezra 16 and 75. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your God, man. Yeah, stop stop looking back, man. Stop being afraid. Man up, gird up thy loins, and do the work of, of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Stop worrying about these peons out here. Gird up thy loins like a man, bro. You know, and this is speaking to myself first and foremost, because we're coming into heavy times. Times that, that is going to test your faith and your patience, man. And if you are sitting here uh, 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 getting timid now, if you're sitting here being afraid now, that means you don't trust in the Heavenly Father and you need to move the fuck on, man. You know, the apostles and the elders always say, it, man, if you can't get right, you can't get with the program. You need you need to uh, get the fuck out of here, man. The door's right there. Hit it. All right. 
So it says, I'm going to read that one more time. Second Ezra 16 and 75. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is your guide. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Yahweh, saith Ha'adawan Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. That's right, man. Hey, you if you fucked up, you made a mistake, get over it. Repent. Okay? The, the elder over there in South Carolina, had, he had made a statement during one of the camps that he had. And he had said, we sin, but we're not sinners, man. All right? We have this word being instilled within us, man. All right? Therefore, if you if you go off, you know, confess your, your sins unto the Heavenly Father and offend less. Repent. Okay? Turn back from whatever the, the, the bullshit you were going into. The bullshit that you were doing, man. It says... Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with bushes, and the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. It is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. That's right, man. So if you ain't you ain't diligently seeking the heavenly father, man, and you ain't getting right with your how about Shai, this this is gonna be this is gonna be you, man. Woe be unto you. Back in this article, man. So reading it again, it says a growing number of Americans are getting their power shut off as rising costs of living force consumers to choose between keeping the lights on and paying for food, rent and transportation. Yeah, these these people out here are struggling, man. And if you aren't getting right with the Heavenly Father, you're going to be struggling, too. If you're not doing what needs to be done through Harakat, through the spirit, hey, the Lord's going to the, Lord, the Lord's going to remove you. All right. And he's going to put someone there who's willing and happy to do that work, man. You ain't willing and you ain't happy to do the, uh, to do the work. Get the, get the fuck out of here. All right. Says last year, utilities cut off power to an estimated 4.2 million households. According to a report released this week from the Center for Biological Diversity, the Energy and Policy Institute and a bell uh, bell out watch. The estimate is conservative because only some states reveal information. So this ain't even all the states. This is just some of them. So it says because only some states reveal information about utility cutoffs, the authors use the cutoff rate from those states to estimate a nationwide figure. It says in states, uh, in states, the report tracked electricity shutoffs increased nearly 30 percent from 2021 to 2022, while gas cutoffs rose 76 percent. It says the rising numbers of cutoffs are a confluence of two factors. Higher energy costs partly caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which is bullshit. Nearly a year ago, as well as the end of pandemic era protections that barred utilities from shutting off service for non-payment. And you have to remember, man, uh, we only get about, I believe the last, I believe when I checked, it was about 7%. Matter of fact, let's just look it up, man. Um, how much does the U.S. rely on Russia, right? About 8%. Last year, the United States relied on Russia for about 8% of its energy imports, and only 3% of that is crude oil. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, America gets most of its crude imports from Canada and Mexico. So that's a lie right there. They're telling you, oh, well, you know, because of the, the war in Ukraine and, and Russia, you know, the, the gas and, and the energy costs are going higher up. No, they want to implement their NWO. They want to they want to create chaos so that way they can seem like they're putting everything in order, man. And if you're not paying attention, you're not being sober, you're not being vigilant, you're going to be caught off guard, man. All right. And so it says, <clears throat> Uh, continuing it in that sec in this paragraph right here, the second, the middle one, it says Ru by Russia's invasion of Ukraine nearly a year ago, as well as the end of pandemic era protections that barred utilities from shutting off service for non-payment. So now, so now what they're telling you is, okay, the pandemic, the pandemic's over. Now run me my money that you never gave me. <laughs> All right. This is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the red Hebrew Edomite. And you fucking peons support these guys, man. You need to die. You, man, do not rich men oppress you. Let's get that. Let's get that, man. Because you fucking people want to be in agreement 
with Esau, the so-called white man. And then you want to you want to cuss out the, the prophets and, and be angry with the prophets and kill the prophets. Hey, well, the Heavenly Father is going to protect us. You know, he's been protecting us ultimately, but he, you know, some of us may be martyrs, you know, but hey, Yahweh Razah, the majority of us, we're going to be casting judgment upon you and we're going to love it too. Why? Because you're wicked. You deserve it. You know, so let me see. Do not rich men oppress y'all. Might be James 4. Khan. There's one go to not today tomorrow I might have passed it up it's like you I know it's in James do not rich might have spelled oppress wrong gone James 2 and 6 it says this is James chapter 2, and I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he had promised to them that love him? That's right. You got to humble yourself before the Heavenly Father and know that you and understand that you don't know everything, man. And that ultimately, the way that you were living beforehand was a way of death. So you got to repent, turn back unto the Heavenly Father and call upon his name. That way you may be saved out of this trouble that's going to become. Because as we just read, Yahweh is a guide unto them that put their trust in him, that serve him and follow after his law, says commandments, re rehearsing the righteous acts and overall rich in faith. So it says, verse six, but ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats do not they blaspheme that worthy name by the which ye are called that's right we're called yasharala prince of god princes of god okay and esau uh, calls himself israeli he, he calls the most high yahweh and and uh um uh he calls yahweh shai yahushua some bullshit man that's disrespect unto us this this man this wicked vile man needs to die man and we're seeing that right now and we're seeing why you americans trusting in the government and this is the this is the type of government this is the type of aid that the government is showing you <laughs> you know he oh uh, he, uh, he'll help you for a price all right and so back in this article it says access to electricity is a basic human right People rely on electricity for water, physical safety, food security, medical care, and telecommunications, the report said. Without power, people struggle to maintain employment, keep their kids in school, and even stay alive. And that's the problem. You people rely too much on Esau and his gadgets, man. You gotta you gotta learn to do things by yourself. You ever heard of fire? Start a fire, man. That'll keep you warm. You know? Hey, you women out there who, who sincerely serve the Heavenly Father, if you know how to sew and you know how to uh, create things like blankets and stuff from scratch, that's a good that's a good thing right there, man. You know, we're about to be shown why we should trust in the Heavenly Father and not in Esau, because look at this shit. He has control over all this and he, he can choose to continue to allow you to use the power knowing that inflation is going up but this is the shit that he's doing he's taking it away from you and we, we just read as it says people rely on electricity for water safety food security medical care and tele so pretty much the basic necessities of life that that we depend on all rely on electricity apparently you know and esau has control over that and he shunned you he shunned you americans down and so it says today, one in six U.S. families are in arrears on utility bills, according to the National Energy Assistance Directors Association. Families are drowning in utility debt. Uh, NEADA, NEADA wrote this week, noting that demand for help with heating bills is currently at its highest level since 2009. Man, people continue to try to trust in the government and <laughs> it continues to let them down, you know. So let's get another preset, man. This is Isaiah 36 and verse 6. Lo, thou trustest in the thou trustest in this staff of this broken reed on Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. That's right. And the modern day Pharaoh is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, specifically those uh, 13 elite families, man, you know, who own the banks 
call themselves uh they call themselves Jewish okay well really they're Khazars and really they're Edomites they're Esau Edom because when you get into that word Egypt all right it means bondage and down down here over here in America we're in bondage man you know we're not it may not be literally you know but uh uh mentally man all right financially we're in bondage and then even if we if we so so much as look at Esau the wrong way he'll throw your ass in prison <laughs> all right he'll he'll uh, um frame you he'll he'll throw some uh some cocaine on your lap man tell you ask you where you got that from knowing that he just threw it on your lap and then arrest you for it and then throw your ass in jail why because the so-called white man the red hebrew edomite hates you so-called negroes latinos and north american indians and he's willing all right which the reason he hates you is because he understands that you're the chosen people of the heavenly father and he wants to try to cut you off completely and and so because of his hatred towards you he's willing to put not only his own nation under under uh wage slavery but all the nations man he's willing to cut off all their shit man all right and we're seeing that and so it says um the center for biological diversity report blames another factor for the large numbers of utility cutoffs corporate greed at the same time that utilities cut off power to millions of households they spent billions of dollars on dividends for their share shareholders notice Salah Goodson Bell a campaigner with the Center for Biological Diversity so it's not that they can't afford to help you out it's that they won't afford to help you out <laughs> and so it says it would have on taken only one percent of the amount spent on shareholder dividends to prevent these shit offs he said people have to sacrifice essential life sustaining services to pay for those bills while utility executives and shareholders continue in to line their pockets hey and this is prophecy esau is being exposed because beforehand articles like this would have never came out man you know uh, a few years ago you know this shit like this would have been uh so-called uh quote-unquote disproven man all right they would have came out with a whole bunch of uh fact checks and all that bs but this this is already fact checked this is already uh put in place they have nowhere to hide themselves you know jeremiah 49 and so it says in 2021 many of these utilities were prevented from dumping non-paying customers by state level mor mor uh, moratoriums most of these prohibitions expired at the end of that year leading utility cutoffs to jump in several northeastern states utilities in connecticut performed nearly 59,000 cutoffs last year up from 153 in 2021 while new york cut off 41,000 households last year after zero cutoffs in 2021 so that's that's a huge jump man you know these people they don't give a shit about how you feel and they don't care about you man and we're seeing revelation 12 and 12 happening right in front of us right now so i'm going to post this link in the description man i don't want to continue too long so i want to get my main precept and then i'm gonna jump up out of here and so this is uh the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 1 remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say i have no pleasure in them that's right we got to continue to trust in the heavenly father and we have to remember him now we have to rehearse the righteous acts now man because it's already coming to the point to where it's going to be too late and if you're not doing your due diligence the heavenly father is going to persecute you he's going to put you through that fire both both uh spiritually and physically okay and so it says verse 2 while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened nor the clouds return after the rain that's right before before all hell breaks loose you want to make sure that you are on the most high's good side so it says verse 3 in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low that's right so all this happiness and all this mirth that was going on is it, you can see it start to tumble all right people are more depressed all right they're sad they don't know what to do you know they're going through hell hey everyone that i've talked to so far for these past two weeks um personally everyone that i've talked to so far you know and even uh, and sometimes these are just random strangers but everyone is just going through going through hell 
But the men of Yahweh Bashmi Shah, we you know Yahweh Radazan, part of that number. Hey, we're straight, man. The Heavenly Father has us continuing to increase in the spirit, man, and it's a beautiful thing. Okay, and so you have to remember thy Creator in the days of thy youth, when when the while the evil days come not. Okay, and we're seeing these evil days approaching. If you're not prepared, hey, you know you know the rest. And so it says. Verse 5, also when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and fear shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail, because man goeth to his long home, and the mourners go about the street. All right, and so we're seeing that right now, all these homeless people all over the streets, man. Okay, you know, these things are being burdened. Um, more and more chariots are up in the are, are up in the heavens coming in and out man we're seeing these things happening right in front of our eyes so now it's high time to be awake and call upon the name of yahweh bashimi al shai our father man and our big brother you know and so with that being said you know our praises lesson was edifying and once again i want to give all praises honor and glory unto yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim kakwadash all right double honors to the elders and the apostles over there at green millstone who are my teachers all right double uh, peace and salutations to you brothers out there preaching this word in truth and sincerity all right until the next time i say shalom